Hello guys, very welcome to our channel. This is Shushankar Prakash and here I am going to, in this channel I am going to discuss you Biology, Plus 1 and Plus 2 and from chapter 1 to ending chapter. So here in this first chapter, the chapter name The Living World. It is a very interesting chapter and very basic chapter. So in this first, first concept, living, how we can say an organism is living or non-living. Based on few defining characters, it is, uh, it is differentiated. In this defining character, first, first one is defining characters of a living organism is first one growth, reproduction, consciousness, self-replicatable, and metabolism. These are the uh, these are the characters of defining characters of living organism. So in this growth, we, we want to talk about growth. Growth is, growth is an irreversible process which cannot be reversible, right? So in this, in this human beings, uh, growth is only after up to certain age, but whereas in plants, it is a continuous process. So, right? So, next concept is uh, reproduction. So, growth is not a unique character, but it is a defining character to the living organism. Why I am using this is not a unique character? Because growth can also occur to the non-living organisms. Like mountains, a few examples to that. So next time we do the reproduction. What is reproduction and how it is defined as the living organism, right? So reproduction, reproduction uh, is a defined as the living organism. I told you again. So uh, living organism will show the reproduction. Reproduction is not a unique character to the organisms, right? So like. Uh, human beings usually show a sexual reproduction, like multicellular organisms or some comes under this category. Either they will show a sexual or asexual, but it is not a unique character. Because why it is not a unique character? Because it is even some nudes and uh, sterile, sterile things cannot show the reproduction. So it is not a, that unique character, that unique character, the living organism. So next we are going to do the consciousness and how living organism with conscious to their surroundings. Consciousness, first of all, just get into the term consciousness. How a living organism interacting with environment is said to be consciousness. So, this what the actual definition, and a living organism must and should to be a conscious with their environment. So, metabolism. Metabolism is a unique character. Why I am saying that the, all of these, all these are defining characters from among this, among this, this metabolism is a unique character because all chemical changes that occurs in a, in a cell or a living being is said to be metabolism. So metabolism is a unique character. So next concept I am moving to this diversity in living world. So there are 1.7 to 1.8 million species of plant or animals, plants and animals are known to be now. So it is much of diversity in this universe. So so that we have normal confusion, right? So we want to name it. So how we are just remembering them and how we are naming all these concepts of the diversity in the In this we are using the term nomenclature, nomenclature. What is a nomenclature? I told you that there this much complexity is there in this our universe, right? Because there are, till now, I said to you, 1.7 to 1.8 million species are named till now. And how we will, uh, how we will get it, right? So, nomenclature, first of all, the just you, the scientists bring a name that is uh, given as something common knowledge that is nomenclature. Nomenclature is the naming of organisms, naming of organisms, either plants or animals, is said to be nomenclature. In this, there is a some rules and principle which is given by the biologist, right? In this first one, uh, first one is binomial nomenclature. Why I am using the term? Why I am using the term binomial nomenclature? What is the nomenclature? So Any individual is going to naming of an individual is said to be nomenclature. If that naming is said to be two components, that is that it is usually called as binomial nomenclature. Let me give an example. Mangifera indica. It is a common scientific name to the mango, right? You all know, right? Mangifera indica. 
Manji Fara is a generic name. And specific, uh, specific, uh, specific name is Indica, which is native to the India. Right? That's why they, the scientists use it Indica. So anything that anything, any plant it should be named under two components is, is known as binomial nomenclature. So this was given by Linnaeus. Actual name is Carbolus Linnaeus. So this is what about nomenclature and diversity in living organisms. In the living world. And there is a taxonomy. And another term in NCRT, taxonomy. What is a taxonomy? Characterization, identification, classification, and nomenclature, all these acts together form together called as taxonomy. So firstly we need to characterize and we need to identify and classify and next we give the name. This all process together to form a taxonomy. Right? So about uh, what is taxonomy? There is a few uh, and classification. What is the meant by classification? Classification is a category or a grouping of the similarities are said to be a category. Right? So here that's why next function the NCRT has given the taxonomical category. Right? Taxonomical category. What is taxonomical category? I have told I, I told you earlier what, what is a taxonomy and this is taxonomy here and categories which is grouped into few things. It starts from categories is nothing but a taxa. Every group or a category is said to be a taxa. It's also known as a taxa. So in categories, taxonomy of categories, there is a few con a concept that there is a taxonomy of categories consists of few uh, few components, I will tell you from, uh, uh, from ascending, uh, descending to ascending order, that is species, species together form as genus, genus together form as family, order, class, phylum, kingdom, this was the order. From complexity, with, from complexity will increase from down to, uh, from, from, from ascending order, from Bottom, bottom. From species to kingdom, right? And similarities as well as similarities within the category or a taxa will decrease from species to kingdom, right? So while coming, while taking the descending order from kingdom to species, complexity will decrease. I will show you. Let me show you. Species. to kingdom complexity increase because species only few characters few characters like of like our similarities is more in this while going from here to here like ascending order the complexity will increase like if we take a tiger as an example we will take a tiger as a species. If a group of uh, uh, animals together form, we will use the term animals to them, right? For animals, there is a lot of difference in the animals. So it's not species. Species is an example for only one species, for all, one particular species, right? Like um, if an, any plant species is in India, it's said to be an Indian species, right? If we take into the world, it is different. So complexity differ. The complexity is more. So variations in them is more. So we are so species to kingdom variations will be increased from kingdom to here decrease by having descending order. So the concept of taxonomical categories is up to here. I am going to last concept taxonomical age. First of all, what is taxonomical age? There are various number of plants and animal species. So how, the study of these plants and animal species set to be taxonomy, used for taxonomy, is, is uh, said to be taxonomical aids. Taxonomical aids are useful for studying of these characters. This various number of plants and animals, the study of various number of plants and animals are said to be taxonomical aid. For this taxonomical aid, there are few, few concepts, uh, few things are there. One is herbarium, botanical gardens, geological parks and keys. First of all, we want to discuss about herbarium. What is an herbarium? Herbarium is 
trusted a, a dry plant specimen specimen is trusted uh, attached to a sheet and which is uh, stored in a in a storage room is said to be a herbarium it is a quick referral and this is a very important point which i need to tell you right now it is a quick referral which is, which is used for quick referral right and digital herbarium is also available in this now right now in our market next botanical gardens so botanical gardens they are the famous botanical garden is present in england right now and indian botanical garden is present in howrah india and national botanical garden is present in lucknow which is in up in india so botanical garden the living plant specimen is uh, we taking as a referral is known as botanical garden right zoological parks zoological parks the wild animals which are kept under human care this is uh, which are under the human care this is said to be zoological parks what is a zoological parks this is what zoological parks and last one is key key a group of uh, similar and dissimilar characters are said to be plant species are said to be keys and keys also kiplets also uh, kiplet is a uh, there is a few things on, on this go through it sir so this is what my presentation today is see you in the next class very soon bye i hope you like the video do like share and subscribe and if you want to get other concepts comment below and see you in the next video bye bye